BDOS is a DOS emulator that serves a slightly different function to the popular DOSBox, best known for letting you play DOS games on your PC. Whilst DOSBox is game orientated, BDOS gives you deeper access to the DOS shell and comes with extra features that let you easily run old DOS programs on Windows 10. This guide will show you how to get the best use out of VDOS to run old DOS programs on your PC. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to use VDOS to run old DOS programs on Windows 10. Are you feeling nostalgic for old 8-bit games or need to run some old software that the 32-bit Windows 10 doesn't accommodate? Yes, old DOS programs need a little extra to run on the newest 64-bit version of Windows. You can use VDOS to help you run old DOS software if you need to, although it isn't a suitable option for gaming. Here's how to use it. What is VDOS? To allow older DOS programs to run on newer Windows platforms, the virtual DOS machine, NTVDM, is used. Windows 10 32-bit includes this, but 64-bit versions don't. Instead, Windows users will see a pop-up alert that DOS programs can't run. VDOS is a third-party DOS emulator that replaces Windows' own NTVDM technology. When you run DOS software through VDOS, it'll load in its own window. It adds network and printer support, provides clipboard access, and allows you direct access to your system files. VDOS isn't the only DOS emulator in town, however. DOSBox is an alternative primarily designed for playing old DOS games, something that VDOS can't do. You can also use VDOS Plus, a fork of VDOS, although VDOS receives far more regular updates. How to install VDOS If you want to install VDOS, head to the VDOS download page, link in the description, and download the installation program. The installation process is easy. Open the installer and follow the instructions. Make sure you allow VDOS to patch and update to the most recent version of VDOS during the installation. Once VDOS is installed, you can check that it's working by opening VDOS, labelled VDOS, obviously, from the Start menu. VDOS comes with a test version of DataPerfect, an old DOS database tool. The initial configuration file will automatically load DataPerfect once it runs. If VDOS is working, DataPerfect should load in its own window. If VDOS is working correctly, close the test window and head to your VDOS installation folder, typically C colon slash VDOS, Open the autoexec.txt file and remove everything listed within before saving and closing. Open VDOS again and you should see the typical DOS C prompt. From here, you can now run any DOS software that you like. If you'd like to configure VDOS further, to enable print or network support for instance, the VDOS FAQ offers support and guidance to help you and there's a link to that in the description. How to use VDOS with the initial VDOS startup configuration erased, you'll see the DOS prompt every time you run the VDOS program. There's a selection of interesting DOS software available online that you can try, from text-based web browsers to graphics editing tools. To run your software, download your DOS software and place it in the same directory as VDOS, for example, C slash VDOS. This directory is treated as the initial C directory. Use the DIR command to list all the files in the current folder, and then CD, followed by a folder name, to move to that folder type dot dot to go back up one directory. At the C DOS prompt, type the name of your DOS software, the .exe file, and press enter. Your DOS software will load within the VDOS window, ready for you to use. DOS isn't just outdated, it's ancient, and the final release of MS-DOS was nearly 20 years ago. Software like VDOS helps you to fill in the gap, giving a new lease of life to older software that you wouldn't otherwise be able to run. Support for DOS is still popular for those who want to play DOS games in Windows and there's links to all that stuff in the description. Feel free to give us your thoughts on DOSBox and VDOS in the comments section below. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.